Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Monday the 20th, I think. I know it's Monday, so I think it's the 20th. Anyway, I need to really look at that before I start this damn video, but it never happens, so I'm just going to kind of give up on it. I'm going to get close, so it's going to be the right number, the right day, one of the two, maybe not both of them together at the same time, but today was a um, really interesting day for weather-wise and stuff. We had a F5 um, tornado hit through Oklahoma City, more Oklahoma, that kind of thing. Only thing I've been catching is like a little bit on Twitter, and I've been getting some updates from a buddy of mine through some text messaging and that. Um, used to go down to more Oklahoma a lot during the summers and stuff. Went to Edmond and that, hung out in Oklahoma City a little bit. It was one of those things when I was a kid, you know, like, I don't know, 10 years old to 16 years old in that kind of ballpark range. Used to hang out down there and stuff with a couple ants that lived down in Oklahoma. Beautiful part of the country. Um, unfortunately, I don't know what the damage is there yet, so I can't really speculate. I just know that my thoughts and hopes are out with everybody. And I've heard there's multiple deaths and that kind of thing, so it's just it's such a sad tragedy to have happen. And, I mean, F5 is the largest rating they have for a hurricane. Or not hurricane, I keep saying hurricane. For a tornado. I've heard, like, upwards, I think it was, like, three or 400 mile an hour winds in an F5. So, definitely a horrible, scary situation. Giant path of destruction, unfortunately. But, I just, I don't know, it's such a sad thing if something like that can just knock out such a community so quickly. But, other than that, I did head up to uh, Des Moines today and went up there and got my uh, Mac back from Apple. They put a new USB port um, drive in it, which I haven't had a chance to hook it up yet. Um, I've got back home, but I haven't got it hooked up. I'll take care of that and figure it out, make sure it's all working here soon. So the one cool thing up there, I um, we had some crazy rainstorms and stuff. Got bad enough, I actually missed my exit coming off the interstate. The weather up there was raining so hard at one point, I had to loop back around. Didn't take me far, like three or four miles on the way, not a big deal. But that was just kind of a crappy weather driving thing. Um, we also had a Groupon that I bought to go use at an Indian restaurant. And it says open from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Yeah, 11 a.m. 10 p.m. every day. Get there at like 6:30, 7 ish somewhere in there, and of course they're closed. They're now open from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And the website and the Groupon site both they're open from, you know, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. And I don't know if I feel like eating Indian food for like the early lunch thing, like before two. And the place looked a little bit shady. You start closing down from a full lunch all the way through dinner restaurant. And it's a buffet, it's a little weird too, down to just a lunch only. Makes you think maybe your business isn't doing that well. And if it's not doing that well, you might not be rotating your food as well. Might be a little more likely to be unhealthy. So I'm going to try and contact Groupon and tell them, I you know, bought this today to use this today. And guess what? Which will probably be yesterday I'm telling them that because I'll be telling them tomorrow. But they weren't open. Their website's wrong. Your information you provide me is wrong. I don't know when I'll get back up there. I also don't ever feel like eating Indian food for lunch. That's a little bit scary for me. It's a little bit scary anyway. So I decided to set the hell with it and end up going and buying a $50 a Groupon to a, oh, I can't remember the name of the other place. It's like Kabasa Sushi House. And we ended up going down there, a friend of mine and I, we ended up going down and eating sushi. We had $50 worth of sushi to eat, which is doesn't sound, it sounds like a lot when you say it, and there was probably more food. We should have definitely got a doggy bag or whatever and brought some of it home. But we ended up getting four different things. One of them was the Drake Roll, which I'm not sure. It's like STT and some other stuff, Yellowtail on it, a handful of stuff in there. And that thing was amazing. Like that right there was bar none, hands down, the best of the four we had. There was another one that was, it was like, there was two more that were mediocre, they were all right, and then one that was a little bit too spicy and not, not really good at all, which I told the guy, I don't want anything spicy, I want to stay from all that stuff. It's first time in your restaurant, first time really ordering ordering sushi, not like at a Chinese restaurant where you have like a buffet, it's just a bunch of sushi, take a piece. So we ended up getting them, and that one was more hot than we really wanted. It really wasn't good. I had some um, wasaki in that, which is nasty as hell, like the Japanese um, horseradish and stuff, and I took way more than I should have. It was pretty damn hot, and that kind of messed with my taste buds a little bit, but overall the drake roll there was insanely good like it was so good i was so impressed with it and there was a few of the pieces of leather when we had like i said i don't know what it was i should have wrote it down but i'll figure it out i brought home the menu things i know about like the price and stuff and i'll be able to figure out what i ordered hopefully and go from there and decide not to order that one again so definitely next time we go up we're gonna program another group on unfortunately 50 dollars is the smallest one they sell and they won't let you break it up so it's not something i can really do by myself because it's like literally it was more sushi than the two of us could have ate. Like, it really, we shouldn't have ate the last little bit. So I might make the plan of just going up there and grabbing a little bit of it and planning on just taking a dog bag or taking a third person with us, maybe. And then we'd have a third person there to help us eat the 50 bucks worth. So 
other than that, really good time. We, uh, like I said, had the crazy storms to deal with. Went through and did some shopping for shields and that. I've got a new victim to running, I think. Um, hopefully they're going to get into running a little bit. So we went and kind of looked at some water bottles, some running shoes, some just, un like, compression wear, like clothing, that kind of stuff. To kind of get them excited about it a little bit. So who knows? We'll see what happens. So anyway, that's all I've got for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.